Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mission Media tutorial, we'll be going back to the basics and checking out what primary color correction is, how to approach it, and maybe even a couple tips that'll help you out. So, so here you see we have a lovely shot with nothing done to it yet. You can see this is flat, which means it is a log encoded image, which basically just means that the camera is trying its best to retain all of the shadow detail and highlight detail. So you can see on our scopes, everything is nice and smooth. We have nothing clipped. Clippy stuff looks like this, where it's just a hard line or just blown out there. So what our goal in primary correction is, is to bring the image to a nice neutral place that we can work from. So expand out the contrast and saturation and get it sort of looking good, but not really any characters added to it yet. So we'll do this. I like to use the primary wheels, but you can also use curves or whatever else you want. And so the first thing that we'll do is adjust the contrast of this. So a couple different ways you could just up the contrast here and have it look totally fine. You can adjust the lift gamma and gain, which is my typically preferred method of doing it. Or if you've got a little more difficult footage, you can also add contrast with the curves. So I think we'll go with the curves for this just so we can really show what's going on here. So how do we know where we want this to be? Because I mean, this is exposed pretty well right now, maybe like half a stop under, but you know, what are you gonna do? Well, the way you can think about this to sort of gain some confidence is there's plugins for false color and stuff, but you can also use something like the Ansel Adams zone system. So here you see Ansel Adams, pretty smart guy, sort of knows a thing or two about exposure. Here we go through about where everything should be from zero to 10. And luckily our scopes are in 10 bit, so they are zero to 1023. So they map pretty evenly zero to 10. So zero is pure black, which means just like it said, pure black, not the darkest part of your image, pure black. So if you look in this image, we don't really have anything that would be pure black if you're looking at this in real life. So as we bring our darks down, if we look at our scopes here, you can see left to right corresponds left to right in the image. You can see we have these brighter parts over here, which correspond to this. And then the vertical is the brightness of that part. So it's taking each row of pixels and saying, what is the brightness of there? So you see, we can bring this down. If we look at our scopes, we're not reaching zero because the darkest part of our image is right here. And this wouldn't be pure black in real life. There'd still be some detail down there. So even though we're losing a little bit of detail just in our shot from our camera, I think, but there's a little bit in there. You know, I'm fine to sort of have that be about where it is. So the next thing we'll do is adjust our highlights. And if we go over to our zone system, you can see highlights 10 is pure white, no detail, light sources, specular highlights. So really we don't have anything that is pure white in here. Even our sort of specular highlights, these aren't pure white. So if we brought them to pure white, you could look and see, so bring these up. That is way, way too much. In my opinion, you could like this, but you don't have to put the brightest part of your image at 1023. You can just put it about where it needs to be. That's a nice little rhyme. I should make a t-shirt. Before we raise this up, let's look at some other numbers here. So one of the most important things is our skin tone. So we've got a gradient here. So if you look on our scopes, it sort of goes anywhere from that dark point by our hair, it goes up and we get these wider points. So our skin is a little bit under because as you can see, it's about five to six, which is where we tend to keep our skin. I tend to grade skin a little bit brighter just because you see that a lot in like commercially stuff. It tends to, to skew more towards the six or seven area rather than this five or six area. But knowing that now, we can start to bring this up. And it's better to just look at your viewer here instead of the scopes and then just double check with scopes to make sure that you're not, you know, a crazy person. So here we get this going. And I think about there feels pretty good for me. So if we look back over our scopes, yeah, we're right about where we want to be. So that's sort of 640 between 512 and 768 in this sort of range. I think that's pretty nice. It covers our, our highlights on our cheeks there all the way down to these shadows. So now we've got our contrast expanded out really nice and quick. I mean, it took a while since we were talking about it, but really that process can happen pretty fast. And the next thing we'll do is just start to up our saturation. And this is mostly done to taste, just in my experience, getting it to look good. But you can see that this is a little bit off white balancey. So we can very easily go over to our temperature and tint controls and we can cool this down a little bit and we can make our tint more towards magenta and now we've done a nice job of neutralizing this image. And let me just do this in another node real quick. 
So now you can see before our white balance and after. See, it's a little bit subtle. You see now our chalkboard in the back looks like a chalkboard and our skin has a little bit more blood in it, looks like. And just like that, we've got a nice neutral image to work from. So maybe, you know, this is all you need. A lot of times this is all you need. You don't really need a grade going on, but you can do more. For this particular shot, I'd probably do, you know, some secondaries to brighten up her face a little bit just because this part of the image is very bright and I'm sort of looking at our instead of alley. But this is a tutorial on primary color correction. So like I said, it's mainly just neutralizing your image. And now that you have this, you can do secondaries or you can apply LUTs on top of it and it will look totally fine. So we go over to our LUTs tab and we'll go to something like the beauty LUTs. You can just add in, you know, some sort of crazy look to this. Like that one's cool. And bring that down. And since we had our primaries already done, it was very easy to just drop that on and make it look nice and nice. So. That is a nice little fundamental of color grading. It's not the sexiest tutorial in the world. But oh, one other thing to look at for this is we can use our vector scope to double check our skin line. So you can see we have show skin tone indicator here, which is this line. You can see that we're basically right along this. We could probably use some more magenta. So you see here is our magenta and here is our green. So as we slide our tint slider towards magenta, you can see if we really move this, it's pushing the whole image way over towards that little box. But here you can see as we move it, we go, let's push it just a little bit further. You know, maybe that's a little bit better. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you'd like to give it a like, if you didn't get a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mies Media YouTube channel. If you want even more good stuff, check out MiestMedia.com slash products where you can get the LUTs that we showed off here, as well as some other stuff. And there's some really cool stuff coming up on there soon in a couple weeks so stay around for that there's free stuff there there's paid stuff you, know, you just can't lose go over to meesmedia.com slash products and check it out even if you don't want anything if you buy something it makes me happy so it's good to make me happy because then i make more tutorials and then you don't have to pay for the tutorials anyway once again i've been theo with meesner media i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time bye <music>